Hey there, if you're having trouble with ChatGPT, OpenAI Playground has got you covered. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use OpenAI Playground, including their awesome new speech-to-text feature. To get started, go to OpenAI.com and click on API. Next, click on Sign Up to create an account, and fill out a few pieces of information, as well as verify your phone number. Once inside, select Playground from the top menu. One cool feature OpenAI has that's not available with ChatGPT is the speech-to-text option. Click it and try it out. Now click Start Recording to say your prompt instead of typing it. For example, you can ask OpenAI to generate a 2,000-word essay on artificial intelligence. Then hit Stop Recording and it will start transcribing your text. Now you can click Use this as an input. And then hit Submit and OpenAI will start writing your essay right away. At some point it may stop, so just hit submit again and it'll keep going. With OpenAI Playground, it's a bit easier to write uninterrupted long form content, whereas with ChatGPT, you may need to do a bit of editing to get the paragraphs to flow together. Let's try another example using speech to text. We'll upload a 10 minute audio file and see how quickly it transcribes. Wow, that was fast, less than a minute. Next, click use as input. I'll add Summarize above to the end of the text and hit Submit once again to get OpenAI to summarize this audio. This could be great for summarizing podcasts and presentations. We could even record voice memos on our phones, upload them to OpenAI, and rewrite it into a book. What do you think? This speech-to-text is so good because OpenAI has another AI tool called Whisper, which they say is as accurate as humans at recognizing speech. I think it only works with English right now, but let me know in the comments if you get it working in other languages. OpenAI Playground also has presets. These are essentially just saved prompts. To see these, click the drop-down menu above the input box. For example, you can select Summarize for a second grader. OpenAI gives you sample content with these presets, so you can just hit Submit to simplify and summarize it. To summarize your own text, just delete the sample text and paste in your own, or just use this prompt in future. You can also select Explain Code, and OpenAI will explain complex code in plain English. To see more presets, click on the drop-down menu, scroll to the end, and click on More Examples. And here you'll find more examples and use cases for OpenAI Playground. You can explore these by category or just click on the ones that look interesting. You can then click Open in Playground and hit Submit to test them out. Keep in mind that these are just a few examples. OpenAI Playground can also write blog posts, give relationship advice, translate languages, and more. So is OpenAI Playground free? Sort of. You get $18 of free credits to use during your first three months. After that, you just pay as you go. Each query costs around 0 0.03 cents. So that $18 credit covers about 600 queries, which is a lot. It's easy to set up billing and you can even set spending limits too. It's good to remember that OpenAI Playground isn't designed to be a ChatGPT Pro. It's really just meant for experimenting around. All the billing stuff is really for people using OpenAI's API to develop applications. Despite that, I think getting a free account is still worth it in case ChatGPT gets too busy or you want to use the transcription service right away. But this is a quickly changing space, so be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos to stay up to date. Thanks for watching.